It all started with us, the caveman. Since day one, our people have always been where the action is. Sure, maybe not front and center, but if you're enjoying your modern civilization, you might want to send us a little thank you note. We're not that hard to find. We're right here beside you. We're really not that different from you. Just a little better looking. There are a lot of hot babes living here, Nick. Yeah, I feel like bleached out silicone stuff cougar pups. I do. And you know, when that tall one was in the pool with me, I actually drank some of the water around her. <laughs> Ugh, that guy is the worst. He moved in like two weeks ago and has already elected himself mayor of the complex. All right, wish me luck. I get word on that executive training program today. You don't need any luck. You don't have a chance in hell. Good luck to you, Joel. Well, thank you, Andy, for believing in my dream. Poor Joel. You're like a moth that just keeps hurling itself at a screen, unable to accept the fact that it's never going to get into the house. Moths get into houses all the time. Fine. Something bigger, like a grizzly bear. No, a bear doesn't work, because it could just burst right through the screen. You got to use something small, like a hummingbird. Why would a hummingbird want to get into a house? Because there's nectar inside. The point is, you're a caveman, Joel, and the powers that be do not want any of our kind in their little club. Well, you're wrong, Nick, and I'm about to go prove it to you. You do that. I will. Do. Will. Do. Will. <laughs> Listen to him brang like a hyena. Too, all right, come on. I hope he slips and chips a tooth on one of those fake boobs. God, will you look at that? He's a caveman. He doesn't look like a caveman. The dude's a shaver. <laughs> and a total jackass. Because that way, he thinks that nobody will ever know he's a caveman. I can't imagine shaving your body every day. And it's just got to be a lot of work. Yeah, unless you're trying to pass as a sapien. This is so great. You know when you hate someone and then you find out you have even more reason to hate them? It's like finding money in an old pair of pants. I don't know, Nick. I mean, hate's a really strong word, don't you think? The guy's not hurting anybody. Andy, that shaver is hurting all of us. By hiding who he is, he's saying it's not OK to be a caveman. I mean, it's 2007. It's not like the 80s when John Tesh had no choice but to shave. Did you just say John Tesh is a caveman? Oh, I always knew his music got inside of me. I just didn't know why. Think about it. John Tesh is a triple threat. Entertainment journalist, king of adult contempo, and nobody, but nobody, gives a live performance like JT. I mean, can you imagine what it would be like if we could claim John Tesh as one of our own? Well, forget about it. I mean, I would kill to just scream that from the rooftops. But do you think the record labels would embrace a caveman? Of course not. And so John Tesh became a shaver. And even worse, FBR. Full brow reduction. No. Waiting is crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be you. Oh, come on. No, it is. And you know what? I should be. Oh, you deserve it, Joel. You're a tireless worker, a born leader. I had the perfect choice to be a senior vice gifted director. You know, you're, you're pretty darn deserving yourself. I just hope you remember old Craig when you're looking down from Valhalla. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm going to the show. Hey, Craig, uh, congratulations, man. Wait, what am I saying? No, this is wrong. It should be you. Craig, you got it, all right? You can stop kissing up to me, OK? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe that they picked Nadler over me. I mean, now I've got to wait a whole year before I can get another shot at the program. I, I just can't win. Jim. 
course. Everybody beats Joel. I think I got a beat on his bathroom. And if he's shaving his elbows, you can bet he ain't no Albanian. Nick, can you please just put away the binoculars? It's creeping me out. Hold on, I think I got something. No, it's just some chick sudsing up in the tub. Let me <laughs> check it out. What are you, peeping Tom now, huh? What's your problem? Joel, why do you think you got passed over today? Because cavemen are treated like second-class citizens. And as long as there are sellouts like that shaver, nothing is ever going to change. Look, that's just victim mentality. No, 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 no. A victim sits by and takes it. That's why I propose that we out that shaver and make him the victim. Look, I don't have time for this, OK? I've got my own career to worry about. Oh, Nick, she's like 70. Maybe just uh, soften the focus a little bit. How's it going, guys? Hi. What's up? How are you doing? I'm good. Oh, <sighs> flat tire, huh? Oh, yeah. And the auto club is taking forever. We are so late. I can change the tire. Really? Yes. Aren't you a love bug? That is so sweet. Um, there's no spare. Oh, yeah, there is. It's here on the car. Mom, if it's on the car, then it's not a spare anymore. Thank you, Miss Goodranch. Leslie, if you, if you don't mind waiting for the auto club, I can give you and Thorne a ride. Are you sure? Our knight in hairy armor. <laughs> all right. You all strapped in back there, Thorne? Safety first. That's right. Thank you so much for doing this, Andy. It's so sweet. I hope, you know, we're not keeping you from anything important. No, no. I was just heading to the grocery store, actually. Oh, okay. I'm making my special chicken a la Andy for the boys tonight. Ooh la la. What's your secret? Well, I start with a marinade of rosemary, lemon juice, and olive oil. And then I, uh... Learn how to drive, you stupid jerk ass, huh? Are you a moron? Really? I'm gonna come out of this car and stomp your ugly face. Hey, relax, man. You need to calm down. Then you bake it at 350 for about 40, 45 minutes until the skin is nice, crispy, golden brown. Hi. Well, thank God you're here. I just saw the shaver heading for the rec room. Let's go. Let's Dude, go. I just no, got... no, 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 I promise. If you get a good look at him, you'll see that I'm right. Look, Nick, I've been killing myself all day, all right? I just want to relax. Look, what could be more relaxing than closely examining another man's features? Let's go, Jolie. <sighs> okay, God bless. Out of my way, you jerk. Do you believe that? That guy is a maniac. Who knew? <laughs> I am so horned up, I need to sit in an ice bucket. Well, Can you feel it? I don't know. I mean, I guess he's kind of got a prominent brow, but I can't really tell from here. Okay, so we'll just wait till he comes out then. You're never gonna let this go, are you? I think we both know the answer to that one, Joel. <sighs> because of every connection. Fine, I'll get a better look. I know, I know. And it's simple because he can be fun too. It's your I'm just saying, guys, that if you're not adding five numbers to your PDA every day, you aren't networking. You're not working. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Norskville. That's on one of my top 10 listed top 20 companies on the move for 08. Looks like we got to play a... What's your name, Joel? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can tell from your shirt that your name is Joel. I'm just so conditioned to adding context to my mental Rolodex. So, uh, Joel, you ever hear of Bob Anthony's Network Your Way to Success? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah? Is that what you guys are all talking about? We're the local Bob mob. We get together, quaff a few exotic libations, and strategize about tapping into our full potential. You know, that, that's kind of funny because recently I've been thinking a lot about my own untapped potential. There we go, Joel. Smoke him out of his hole, buddy. Well, let me ask you a question, Joel. What would you say if I told you I can double your income in six months? Would that be something that would interest you? Is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> <laughs> Julie, hook my man Joel up with the Rita. Sure. Oh, lime and everything. Welcome aboard. Thanks. Oh. Unbelievable. Hit two, Joel. Hit two. 